the front automatic coupler without electrical head couples in the following manner. Stop the moving vehicle with the mating coupler at a distance of 1 meter to 1.5 meters from the stationary coupler, coupler to coupler. Start the vehicle with the mating coupler at a slow speed of 1 km per hour to 3 km per hour towards the stationary coupler. As the couplers couple, the coupler heads are centered and slide into each other via the male and the female cones. In the coupled position, the tension spring holds the coupler lock at the stop position of the hooked plate and keeps it locked in that place. The sensor or the proximity switch sends the status message to the TCMS and the coupler status indicator aligns to show that the couplers have coupled. After manual coupling, carry out the electrical coupling. Open the jumper cable connector cover of the stationary vehicle and connect the jumper cable connector to it. Open the jumper cable connector cover of the moving vehicle and connect the jumper cable to it. Secure the jumper cable in the holders. The vehicles are now electrically coupled. Now, to uncouple, remove the jumper cable from the stationary vehicle and close the jumper cable connector cover. Then remove the jumper cable from the moving vehicle and close the jumper cable connector cover. The vehicles are now electrically uncoupled. Automatic uncoupling can be performed from the driver's cabin from both the vehicles. When the driver presses the uncouple button The piston rod of the pneumatic uncoupling cylinder extends and makes the coupler lock unlock. For manual uncoupling, pull the uncoupling rope handle. The coupler locks will manually rotate and unlock. The couplers will thus be uncoupled. The coupler status indicator will now unalign to show that the couplers have uncoupled.